What took so long? Why so many deaths? What took so long? Gina Burns' son is currently at George Bailey Detention Center. She welcomes the new measure passed today, but says it shouldn't have taken 15 in-custody deaths this year to get the board's attention. Last month, five inmates died while in county custody. How did that happen? I mean, who's accountable for that? I mean, we can't be enabling these deaths in the county jails. Board Chair Nathan Fletcher says that's part of the reason why he introduced the emergency measure to curb these deaths. He says the overdose deaths crisis happening across the county is bleeding into the jails. And so now we're taking specific actions that are designed to help alleviate uh, the drug crisis and the overdose crisis in our correctional facilities. The measure includes incentives and strategies to hire and retain more jail staff, looking at new ways to care for the safety and well-being of inmates. It also includes funding for a new body scanner to stop drugs from coming into the jails in the first place. I, I, I want to know with these body scanners, are the staff and the sheriffs going to be also be going through the body scanners? Because not a, the, the family members are not bringing drugs. She says it's more likely that jail staff are bringing them in. San Diego Interim Sheriff Anthony Ray disputes that claim. We've had those allegations. Uh, but over the last five years, we've had absolutely no, no proof, no concrete evidence, no, no cases sustained of anybody bringing narcotics in. So we're focusing the resources we have right now on where we know that drugs are coming in. And those ways are through the mail and visitors smuggling them in. The board will receive a progress report on the measure in 60 days. Alexander Wynn, KPBS News.